Hello Scorpio, welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for coming in here today. Thank you very much for your energy. Thank you very much for your support. Uh, I'm going to jump straight into your uh, monthly reading. Uh, we will concentrate on the month of uh, March. We're going to choose five cards from my uh, Zen, uh, Zen Tarot cards. Um, uh, we're going to also choose five supporting cards just to get in a bit deeper into the answers and hopefully they will help us with uh, elaborating a bit more uh, of what's in store for you uh, Scorpio right and uh, uh, you in general in terms of the uh, general energy for the month of March for you uh, you will be extremely busy with helping other people and it will feel like you don't have even time for yourself uh, Scorpio it will feel very um, uh, very comforting for other people but not for yourself okay so that will be the general energy helping uh, helping others and helping them to in order for for them to achieve a very goal weirdly enough um, with this energy I can feel uh, I can sense that you're some kind of uh, like majority of you uh, Scorpios are uh, like a managers or you're sort of managing certain people of a mental state and it feels like you will you will be that uh, um, that uh, the guardian or, or people they look at you as, a, as a, some kind of guardian in order for for you to um, uh, um, again but at the same time you're helping other people but you're sort of not helping yourself or you're not uh, your it feels like in March you will not have that time uh, for uh, for yourself and for self-healing um, you will be very very busy you will be very very busy and um, in terms of the uh, leaving something behind because that's what pops in here as well it, it feels like the last couple of months Scorpio have not maybe been uh, been uh, entirely perfect it feels like they were very very busy that you were um, you were dealing with quite a lot of negativity um, and weirdly enough I can I'll, I'll check what we've got uh, a bit later on but it feels like there was quite a lot of negativity around your house as well or around your 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 family um, uh, again, I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll check a bit later on with additional cards with what, what that is, but, uh, um, but let's just continue. Um, what, how you can get the most out of, the, out of the March? I think being yourself and just going back into, that, uh, into, back into the basics and uh, back to your roots, uh, it feels like uh, you, have, uh, you have placed yourself on that autopilot and that's not exactly perfect for you uh, Scorpio especially not in the month of uh, of, uh, of March um, um, again just go back to the basics maybe you know visit nature just do things for yourself sports and uh, just just do a lot of uh, a lot of self-healing in order to find that groundness and um, again I know you're like uh, it feels like you are very ultra sensitive for certain situations and probably that's why they get you so hard like it feels like I, I don't know why but this thing uh, like uh, pops into my head uh, um, of um, of uh, having an argument with some someone or having a negative um, someone has negative feelings and they are putting those feelings literally on your back and your shoulders and dragging you down uh, I don't know if, you, if it's your partner or if it's your workplace but it feels like uh, like it's getting a bit hard for you um, I know, you never know it uh, I might be talking about someone who's like a psychologist or someone who helps other people like in, in, from the, like a, a psychiatrist or mental kind of department but for, it feels like someone is uh, sort of like even attacking you um, but yeah, it's um, uh, uh, number gray five. So um, something to be mindful of in the in the in the month of uh, of uh, March. Um, I think you will need to be um, very um, fluent, okay, and very um, down to earth. Uh, with your feelings and with your expectations, with what you want to achieve. Um, Again, I think, in weirdly enough, I think in general, uh, you, with you and let's say your partner, it's like, it's like you've got two different kind of journeys at the moment, and you don't have any um, any connection with each other. Uh, 
I don't know if you're going through some kind of divorce or if you're going through some kind of uh, very rough patch at the moment, but that's how it sort of feels like. The, the month of March will bring you a bit of more of that and that will not help you at all. Um, maybe the, the month of March will be a good actually uh, a good time, especially at the end of uh, the month of March, to um, you know to be politically correct and uh, and speak with your other self. Just don't show the uh, your uh, your negative side. Just maybe sit down and speak with someone. Again, very very strange because it it just very very much uh, feels like uh, uh, that you Scorpio you are with someone, but you're sort of like detached. It feels very very detached from that person. It feels like you're very, you have been very uh, upright with them, and you were speaking uh, quite a lot about yourself, about your feelings, and then they've done something to you, and they've done something, um, something negative, and it uh, it placed you in this uh, um, weird kind of state of mind, and you're a bit withdrawn. That's what I get in here, a bit withdrawn. So you're a bit withdrawn with with those. Uh, with that person. Uh, let me just try to get a bit of more confirmation, uh, Scorpio, in regards to uh, what's exactly in store for you. Uh, and uh, let's elaborate a bit more about work, finances and relationship. Hmm, that's very, very, all of them are upside down. Like, normally I don't look at it, but this was just a bit strange, like all of them are. Um, um, in terms of your relationship, uh, I think the big uh, topic will be forgiveness. It feels like you, uh, you, um, someone will want you to forgive them, or, or, uh, uh, but will you though? That, that's the that's the major question, uh, Scorpio. Uh, at the end, I think after you will have the conversation with a person, weirdly enough, I think you will resolve the certain issue, certain conflict, that's the ma ma major thing, certain conflict, you will resolve it and you will be able to actually go forward with your life together. That's what I get in here, together, okay? Um, and it's... Um, it's. Uh, I think for you, like again, it it was happening for you for a very very long time, for the last couple of months or even years, and now the month of March for you, Scorpio, will be perfect timing for uh, for you to resolve that issue and uh, and stay very very sort of grounded. Um, I think you will use quite a lot of uh, of your intuition as well in and uh, and and. Uh, you and you might be very very emotional. It just seems like you're very very emotional, and 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 you will be very emotional in the month of March. And um, I can't wait for the next week's uh, reading because I wonder if something else will pop into the into into that space again. Um, in terms of the work, um, mm, okay. Uh, no, let's go backwards. Let's uh, in terms of uh, uh, very very strangely. Um, at the same time, as you resolve the issue with uh, with your relationship, etc., it feels like you will have this spiritual kind of awakening kind of moment. It's like you're going to pursue um, certain. Again, it might be your intuition, and you're very, very good in reading people. Um, but it feels it, it will. Everything will feel very, very weird for you, uh, Scorpio. That you're achieving certain things very, very quickly, and you will start to look at it from the like a blessing kind of uh, uh, point of. Of you. Um, again, it feels like the second part of the march will be sort of releasing all of the anger and releasing all of the negativity um, and the um, being scared of. Like again, I think I, I get this information about uh, about uh, you being uh, you being scared about something, and uh, and up until now it was very sort of on a high level, and. In March, it will actually go very, very down, even to zero. Um, it's like you will, uh, you had this um, um, this conversation conversation within yourself, um, and you said to yourself like, "Oh, I'm ready now to move forward in my life, to go forward, and to achieve something better, something bigger." Um, 
Uh, there are certain things which are happening uh, all around you but behind you as well uh, which will direct you uh, um, towards the something new. It's like you have implanted that seed somewhere uh, down the line in the past and now it will come back to you. I don't know if it was some kind of, in, uh, some kind of application which you've sent it to uh, Scorpio in the past but now uh, you will receive sort of positive feedback. Um, um, and uh, you will actually be able to move forward in your life and forward um, uh, in terms of uh, the new, there will be like loads of new possibilities and opportunities coming your way. Uh, I mean like it's perfect, the timing will be just incredible. How you will resolve the issues uh, around your sort of uh, heart life or your, your, your previous like work life um, and then at the same time how you're going to create the future it will be just incredible but again I get this uh, this uh, um, this um, this uh, uh, complicated decision uh, making kind of moment in the, in, the, in March so I don't know if it will be in regards to work uh, most probably it will be you will have to make a decision um, Uh, very far, uh, very weirdly, weirdly enough. Yes, you will receive that uh, that confirmation about uh, about something what you placed, you know, the seed in the past, in terms of work. So, but now you will sort of think about: Is it actually worth it? Is it actually worth for me to go uh, away or to change my lifestyle? Again, I think it will be quite a lot of quite a big decision, um, uh, changing your. Um, um, uh, changing your lifestyle and um, again I don't know if it's going to be worth for you to even consider leaving or going uh, to the something else okay um, um, in terms of the relationship again going back into it um, um, I've got this weird feeling that uh, I don't know if you're going through the divorce again or if you're going through the, some kind of rough patch uh, but it feels like you're sort of ready to move on and uh, that will be sort of the uh, uh, the majority of the of the Scorpio for the, the you know the subject for the for the uh, month of March will be move on moving on or going away from certain situations and building the new situations down the line in April May but in March it feels like you're gonna start to uh, start to finish things in order to start new things that will be sort of your journey uh, Scorpio in the March uh, Scorpio thank you very much for joining me thank you for bringing your energy in here and uh, thank you very much for your support uh, and I shall speak to you next week during the weekly readings thank you very much Scorpio bye